These are the eight demonic spirits that make narcissists become so evil and sometimes inhuman. Everyone, welcome back for another video, where I pray that God's words of wisdom will guide us through life's twists and turns. If you're finding our videos insightful, please show your support by subscribing and activating those email notifications. Trust me, it means the world to me. Most of us have seen the devastating effects of narcissism on our well-being. But here's a thought. Is it possible that behind their overbearing sense of self and conceitedness lies darker, more sinister forces? Yes, you heard it right. Narcissists are frequently influenced by demonic powers. As incredulous as it may sound, a narcissist has actually surrendered themselves to evil forces. These malevolent energies cloud their minds with false promises of power, control, and confidence. It's a cruel trick, as underneath their facade of confidence is a profound sense of guilt which the dark forces thrive upon. With your mind as their primary battleground, these wicked powers can easily poison your relationships and trigger chaos in your life. Don't let it happen. Let's face the harsh truth. The narcissist's vulnerability serves as a magnet for malevolent forces. These vile spirits don't merely want to dismantle the narcissist's life. They seek to inflict pain and turmoil on all who come in contact with them. Unbeknownst to us, the narcissist serves as a sinister portal for these malevolent entities, granting them access to vulnerable individuals that they could never have reached before. Their end goal? To turn you against God and his divine plan and make you so obsessed with your own self-centered thoughts that you lose sight of the bigger picture. Narcissists, in short, are the devil's trusty messengers, designed to 1. Sever your connection with God, 2. Subject you to an unrelenting emotional roller coaster, 3. Trap you in a destructive cycle of self-doubt and anxiety, and 4. Brainwash you into thinking that it's up to you to reform their behavior. But fear not, we're going to explore 8 common demonic spirits that operate in the tangled web of narcissism and unearth methods of thwarting them. Protect yourself from their destructive influence and don't forget to find out about my free narcissism course in the description below. Let's delve into the treacherous depths of demonic spirits, the envy spirit. Envy, an insidious emotion, an unwavering feeling of resentment towards another's triumphs and success. It's kin to covetousness, a toxic mix that never leads to anything good. God himself commanded us to avoid coveting anything that belongs to our neighbor. The Epitome of Envy Satan Narcissists gravitate towards his influence and perceive themselves to be deserving of more blessings than they already have. Demonic spirits lurk in the shadows and envy triumphantly leads the pack, fueling negative emotions that range from cruel punishments to murderous revenge, destruction to division. Envy manifests in a toxic mix of rage, contempt, and hate, ultimately corroding our soul. If left unchecked, Envy can lead to us being sucked into the devil's work. Recognizing the connection between envy and the demonic spirit is vital as we prepare ourselves to combat it. Envy is exceedingly perilous. Thus, we must protect our emotional and mental well-being from its grasp. Exploring the next demonic spirit, the control spirit. Have you ever felt gripped by someone who yearns to manipulate every aspect of your life? If yes, then you've encountered the control spirit. These spirits have no concern for those around them, merely seeking to attain their personal goals by dominating and manipulating individuals. Narcissists are skilled in this form of manipulation, luring their targets through a false sense of emotional fulfillment, only to use them as pawns in their game of oppression. They spare no expense, destroying others to further their goals, leaving a trail of victims in their wake. Widely known as the Jezebel spirit, it doesn't discriminate, striking men and women alike. It practices a manipulation of not just individuals, but public perception too, leaving its victims feeling powerless and isolated. Nevertheless, it's necessary to keep in mind that we can guarantee our freedom from its clutches. Seeking divine guidance and channeling God's strength, we can resist the grasp of these manipulative spirits and break free from their influence. Delving into the third demonic spirit, the pride spirit. Have you ever encountered someone whose delusions of grandeur were intolerable? Then you have come face to face with the pride spirit, the root of every self-centered framework. 
Narcissists are commonly guilty of showcasing their excessive pride, always needing to be right and flaunting their accomplishments. Their delusions of entitlement surfaced in both subtle and overt ways, always attempting to position themselves above others. And with their entitled grievances, narcissists can create a toxic environment, leaving others to feel belittled and inferior. However, God values humility above all else. Jesus preached in Luke 14, 11, those who hold on to pride will be humbled, while those who practice humility will be elevated. Following in Christ's footsteps requires that we resist the temptation to indulge in pride, instead serving others and prioritizing their needs above our own. Do not let the pride spirit come in dear your life. It only leads to isolation from God and ruins everything. Strive for humility and take up Christ's mantle of love and compassion for all humanity. Shifting gears to discuss the fourth demonic spirit, the deception spirit. Have you ever sensed a disconnect between someone's words and actions? It is a classic sign of the deception spirit, also recognized as the lying spirit. Narcissists are exceedingly skilled in manipulating language to befuddle and baffle their targets, hiding the truth behind a facade of deception. Their ultimate objective is to fuel their ego at others' expense, leaving their victims stumbling and lost, unsure of what's genuine. These malicious spirits lead individuals into religious entrapment, superstitions, false prophecies, accusations, slander, gossip, false teachings, hopeless scenarios, a vicious cycle of being trapped. As the voice of Satan on the planet, narcissists spread confusion and deceit wherever they go. Still, as believers, we grasp to God's truth, holding on firmly against these dishonest manipulators. One should understand that anyone who speaks truthfully and acts faithfully earns the Lord's blessings. You want to resist the deception spirit, count on God to traverse the confusion and trust in Him to reveal all truth free yourself from the trap set by narcissists. You have the right to transparency and honesty, and with God's help, you can break free. Tune in for the discussion about the fifth demonic spirit. We are speaking about the confusion spirit. Pay attention. The confusion spirit is disastrous. It's the adversary's master plan to plant seeds of doubt and confusion in our minds, making us gravely defenseless against his attacks. It's similar to a smokescreen that shrouds our thoughts and totally distracts us from God's message, often overpowering our understanding. Narcissists are the embodiment of this confusing spirit. They capitalize on our disorientation due to confusion deftly diverting the focus away from them and focusing it on our own bewilderment. This spirit is maleficent, overwhelming, and leaves us confused and defenseless, putting us in doubt of our faith and ability to understand good and evil. Are you ready for the sixth demonic spirit? The condemnation spirit is up next. This nefarious spirit actively participates in a narcissist's playbook, advocating for malevolent accusations aimed at finding faults in the narcissist's victims. These savages pursue a strategy of deflection, using the spirit of condemnation to shift the blame onto their targets and undermine their control. The spirit of condemnation is indomitable, as narcissists nitpick and criticize their targets to the marrow, making it seem as if their victims are utterly incompetent. This constant stream of cynicism can demolish one's self-esteem, leaving them feeling guilty, rejected, and worthless. Recognizing these spirits is key, but don't fall prey to their influence. We don't have to live under their power. Tune in. Open your heart and embrace the fundamental truth that your worth is beyond measure in God's eyes. Nothing that the condemnation spirit whispers can alter that. We can't ignore the seventh spirit, the witchcraft spirit. Folks, do you think witchcraft is limited to voodoo or black magic? Think again, as narcissists are sly conjurers, proficient at insurrection and stirring up witchcraft. Look at 1 Samuel 15.23. It equates rebellion with divination and arrogance. Ergo, many believe that this dodgy spirit is Jezebel's fort, as she damned in idolatry. So, Let's be mindful of how manipulative and rebellious people can have a connection with narcissism and the witchcraft spirit. It's high time we explore ways to safeguard ourselves and keep our bond strong with the Almighty. Let's get deep with the eighth demonic spirit, the fear spirit. 
Ever encounter a seemingly fearless and confident person whose vibes make you apprehensive? Well, this could be the elusive fear spirit at work, frequently the root of a narcissist's wretched behavior. Don't fall for their swagger. Narcissists conceal their insecurity and unease under an apparent bravado. They ensnare people, hoping to project confidence and courage where there is none. But truthfully, it's a shoddy facade, and they're just immature individuals who find satisfaction in preying on vulnerable victims. Narcissists thrive by manipulating others to exert power and usurp their fears and vulnerabilities. But the reality? They are imprisoned by their own intense dread and remorse, trapped in poison-filled relationships and destructive cycles of behavior. It's time to break free from these spirits of fear. Trust in God, His love, and guidance. You have His promise, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. 2 Timothy 1-7 Don't let anything hold you captive. When it comes to these negative, chaotic beings, brace yourselves, the Bible forewarns us of the last day's tribulations, with many becoming vain, egotistical, and downright malicious. Per 2 Timothy 3-1-5 all we can do to bear it out is to make our escape from their toxic ways and disengage from their destructive antics. But what's the next course of action? If these entities have left you scored, pray and seek help to bolster your inner strength to trust God and guard yourself against such treacherous predicaments in the future. Remember, it's not your job to change someone's nature. Trust in God to aid your healing and tend to your well-being. You might contemplate, can't I just cast them out? Though distance and detachment are the keys to self-care and toxic relations, ultimately it's God who will judge their wicked ways and spirits. For more information on identifying and fending off hostile people, give my free course, Narcissism 101, Early Warning Signs, Escaping the Trap, and Rebuilding Your Life, A Glance. Find the link in the description below, safeguard yourself, and stay strong in your faith. Until next time, have a blessed day. So everyone, before we end today's session, let's summarize this video. Narcissists are fundamentally flawed individuals, and while these flaws might manifest in different ways, the eight common demonic spirits lurk beneath the surface, propelling them towards evil. The spirits cause confusion, doubt, and lead to feelings of contempt and animosity towards others. So to summarize, let's begin our journey exploring the envy spirit which resonates with covetousness and insidious emotion of resentment towards another's success or accomplishments. This toxic mix is akin to the evils of Satan, who narcissists emulate in believing they deserve more blessings than they already have. Demonic spirits feel negative emotions ranging from cruel punishments to murders, revenge, poisoning our hearts and minds. We must recognize the severe dangers of envy as we prepare to combat it, for it is indeed exceedingly perilous. Stepping forward, we encounter the control spirit, a master manipulator capable of dominating every aspect of one's life. Narcissists excel in manipulating their victims, luring them with emotional fulfillment before mercilessly using them as pawns. They destroy others to further their goals leaving a trail of broken hearts in their wake. The Jezebel spirit is widely known. It doesn't discriminate, striking both men and women alike, manipulating not just individuals but public perception too. Channeling God's strength, we can resist the grasp of the spirit and free ourselves from their influence. Moving forward, we confront the pride spirit, the root of every self-centered framework. Narcissists exhibit excessive pride, always needing to be right and flaunting their accomplishments. They delude themselves into believing they are entitled to more than others and create toxic environments while belittling others. Recognizing that God values humility above all else, we must resist the temptation to indulge in pride and serve others, putting their needs before our own. Okay, the deception spirit is up next. A master manipulator skilled at confusing language to befuddle their victims, hiding the truth behind a facade of deception. 
Narcissists delight in feeling their ego at others' expense, leaving their victims stumbling and lost, unsure of what is genuine. The spirits lead individuals towards religious entrapment, superstitions, false prophecies, accusations, slander, gossip, false teachings, and hopeless scenarios, a vicious cycle of being trapped. As believers, we must grasp onto God's truth and hold firm against these dishonest manipulators. Following, we arrive at the Confucian spirit, the adversary's master plan to plant seeds of doubt and confusion in our minds, making us defenseless against his attacks. This power distorts our thoughts, distracts us from God's message, and often overwhelms us and often overwhelms our understanding. Narcissists capitalize on our disorientation, diverting attention away from themselves and focusing on our confusion. It leaves us confused, defenseless, and puts us in doubt of our fate, leaving us questioning our understanding of good and evil. Next, the condemnation spirit is indomitable. With narcissists nitpicking and criticizing their targets, making it seem as if their victims were utterly incompetent. The spirit's constant stream of cynicism can demolish one's self-esteem, leaving them feeling guilty, rejected, and worthless. The witchcraft spirit is up next. With narcissists slowly conjuring up insurrection and stirring up witchcraft, it is high time we explore ways to safeguard ourselves and keep our bond strong with God Almighty. And lastly, we come to the fear spirit, the elusive spirit behind a narcissist's wretched behavior. It leaves us apprehensive while making the narcissist appear fearless and self-assured, projecting confidence and courage where there is none. It ensnares people who dare succumb to its will, seizing power and usurping the target's fears and vulnerabilities while trapping themselves in a cycle of destructive behavior. We are left with a harsh reality, but we must make our escape from these toxic realms. Detachment is key to self-care, and whilst we can't change someone's nature, we can seek God's guidance and channel His strength towards our inner strength to trust Him and guard against toxic people in the future. Cast aside the fear and trust in God's love, for it is upon Him who will judge their wicked ways and spirits. So, in conclusion, we implore you to protect yourself from destructive influence of narcissists and demon spirits. Recognize the signs and seek help when required. Referring to our free Narcissism 101 course for early warning signs, escaping the trap, and rebuilding your life. Keep your faith strong and stay blessed. Until next time, have a nice day everyone.